Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Harry Edwards Healing Minute. It's a Friday, the 2nd of July, and uh, I'm Martin Thomas, and it's uh, my pleasure to host this morning's Healing Minute. I hope that you enjoy the Buddhist peace chants that I've been using today. Seems a little bit incongruous with the picture of Harry Edwards, but um, I'm sure he would approve, having got used to perhaps some music that wasn't so popular uh, and uh, known over here in his day. Anybody? Well, anyway, welcome everybody. Let's use that music then for the next minute or two just to calm our minds and prepare ourselves for the healing minute. It is quite hypnotic. Very powerful. Oh. Good morning, Elaine from New York. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. I guess it's late at night for you. Okay, so let's begin our preparations then. Taking a deep breath and exhaling slowly. Let's visualize ourselves somewhere very peaceful, perhaps in the chapel at the sanctuary, seeing the light flood in through the stained glass windows and absorbing that timeless vibration that Harry Edwards and his team created there of peace and calmness. Let's feel that peace resonate within us, helping us to let go of the thoughts of the day for a few minutes, and for us to feel nicely grounded, anchored to Mother Earth. Let's now be aware of our relaxation in our face and body, allowing any tensions in our forehead or around our eyes to be released, for our jaw to feel nice and relaxed, for the muscles of our throat and neck to release any tension, and for this release to flow all down our torso, through our seat and into our arms and legs. Let us feel quite limp. Having released any tensions that may be in us. And now let us begin the attunement process. We give thanks that we're gathered here to get today and ask that each of our homes be filled with love, light, friendship and healing energies. Surround us in protection as we open our hearts and expand our consciousness to allow the flow of love and healing to come through us. As our crown chakra opens, we visualise a column of pure white light filling our bodies and then feel the balance and harmony within our body as the earth energy rises up through the soles of our feet and our base chakra. We feel our connection to the universal source of pure and unconditional love, balanced by the nurturing, protective love of Mother Earth.
Perhaps you'd like to join me now in the sanctuary prayer, which we know so well. Heavenly Father, I surrender myself to the good influencing of your healing ministers in spirit, that through your divine healing power, the disharmonies within me might be overcome, and the stresses of mind and body be eased and lessened day by day. Help me to adopt a more positive and helpful way of thought, bringing me into closer harmony with those around me and with the divine healing purpose. And for those who are sick or in the darkness of despair, who do not know of the help that can reach them from spirit, we pray that awareness will come to them soon, that they too might experience the upliftment of spirit that can lead us all through harmony towards true health. Amen. So now, as I've paused the music already, we ask that all those people whose names we hold in the distant healing folder at the sanctuary may receive healing for their highest good. We also request healing for their families and friends and for the loved ones who requested the distant healing for them. May they all be placed in that healing light and receive that which they are allowed to receive for their highest good. And we ask that as that healing energy is channeled to them and reaches them, that they will feel a tangible improvement in their condition, an easement of any pain or discomfort, and especially an unburdening of any mental or emotional stresses and strains. And we ask that they will feel uplifted and refreshed and given a new hope for the future. Please extend this healing energy to all those who are on healing lists around the world and to the animal kingdom that their suffering may be eased and their health improved too. And finally, we ask that each one of us here this morning receive any healing that we may also be in need of. So let's pause now for a minute to connect and participate in the channeling of the healing energy. Thank you everybody, that was lovely and surely has benefited all those who we've put in the healing light this morning. Thank you for helping with that. So our thanks and blessings not only to you but also our gratitude to those in the spirit who provided that healing energy. Um, Alan will be with you tomorrow on Saturday and on Sunday evening at 7.30 we have a guided meditation with uh, Lindall Demare all the way from um, California at 7.30 in the evening. That's on Sunday the 4th of July, which as Stephanie pointed out yesterday, is uh, I think it's Independence Day in America, uh, a, a very big event and a bank holiday. So uh, that's lovely of, of Lindall to, to host that for us. Um, that's uh, all I've got as for notices. Um, for our reading today, I've just got a short extract that perhaps is one that you won't have heard for some time. Uh, for some reason, I was reminded of um, compassion. Obviously, the work we do, that's central uh, in our attitudes. 
but we're human and sometimes we start to get conditional and selective about who we uh, allow our compassion to flow to and we are sometimes not as unconditional as we need to be and it reminded me of the source advice about this in the form of the Good Samaritan and I'd just like to share that story with you from the Bible. So I'm going to take a short extract from St. Luke today. So this is chapter 10, verse 25. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted Jesus by saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And he said unto him, Well, what is written in the law? How do you read it? And the lawyer answered, saying, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbour as thyself. And he said unto him then, Thou hast answered, Right, do this, and thou shalt live. But the lawyer, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, So who is my neighbour? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell amongst thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and he went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. <clears throat> and on the, <clears throat> the following morning, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of this man, and whatever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. <clears throat> Which now of these three thinkest thou was the neighbour unto him that fell amongst the thieves? Jesus asked. And the lawyer said, He that showeth mercy on him. Then said Jesus to him, Go and do thou likewise. There we are, a very simple parable, perhaps, or maybe a true story, we don't know. But a very um, simple reminder of the basics of life, which I hope you enjoyed hearing, perhaps for the first time in a very long time. So I'll leave you again with that uh, lovely, well, what I think is lovely chant and music. Not everybody's taste, I must I would agree to that, um, but I hope that you enjoy it and that it uh, helps you to calm your mind and prepare you for this day. I'll just put you back facing Harry Edwards and I'll work on getting the music to run again. So thank you very much everybody for joining <coughs> joining us all this morning and for the good work that's, that's been done. Have a good day, and see you next time. Bye-bye. Here we go.
very sorry. For some reason, it doesn't want to play. At last.